The kitchen is one of those areas where it can be hard to keep track of things. So today I've got a little tip when it comes to the drawer full of those big utensils. What's up VIPs, Derek here back with another video. And a few weeks ago, my lovely wife April and I put out a podcast about kitchen hacks for the visually impaired. By the way, if you wanna check out the podcast, just search Life After Sight Loss Radio in your favorite podcast app, or you can catch the video version right here on YouTube. Needless to say, we talked about a few different things. And one of the things we discussed was that drawer that we have that are full of big utensils like this one. Now this is just a black spoon that you would use to stir things on your your stove. And I talked about how it was difficult to find something in that drawer. For example, let me give you a live example right here, right now. There are a set of tongs in this drawer that I really like to use. They're metal and they make it easier to pick things up. So let me see if I can find it. Obviously there's this spoon. So let's see, I've got the drawer right here. I'm going to go in. I'm going to find, okay, here, uh, this is a set of tongs. These are uh, silicone and they have blue uh, silicone tips, which are nice, but not the ones I want. Uh, the, the Here's another spoon that's similar to that one. It's slotted. Uh, this is a lemon and lime press, or maybe even a small orange where you squeeze out all the juice. This is a, a slotted spoon, which I like. This is a ladle. This is, this is that meat, that thing you crunch up the meat with, like if you have ground beef. Uh, this is another spoon that I sort of like. This is a spatula, which is, you know, pretty good. This is another spatula. This is, aha, here they are. I found them. It only took me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things before I had to get to the one thing that I wanted. Now, does it always take this long? Well, of course not. Sometimes that thing is sitting right on top. And, you know, it's like, woo, I found it. And does, is it annoying? Sure. Do I, do I care that much? I guess not. But some people left some comments on the video version of the podcast and they recommended a couple of things. First of all, I don't use all of these all the time, obviously, but there are a few things that I like to use on a very regular basis. For example, let's see here. I never use this lime thing. My son uses it all the time. Slotted spoon, let's see. Okay, this spoon, I really like to use this spoon. And then I use the meat thing all the time. Um, these uh, tongs I like to use. Uh, that spoon sometimes. This spatula I would use. Um, and uh, let's see, this, okay, this slotted spoon I like to use. So let's say I've got these items. There's five of them here. And let's say I use these very frequently. I like the feel of them. I like the use of them. I got it. So what I could do is take all these things Put them back in the drawer. Can't wait till I get back in the drawer later on tonight to make dinner. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, put them back in the drawer and I could get myself a container uh, to put on my counter and then put those things right there and then boom, every time I want a spoon, it's always gonna be in that location and I've only gotta search through a couple of items because sometimes I'll get in this drawer and I can't find the item I'm looking for and it's not even in the drawer, it's in the dishwasher. Well, sometimes then I go to the dishwasher and it's like, it's not in here, it actually isn't, it's a whole mess. So you might wanna get something to put on your counter so it holds the top five or six things that you use on a regular basis, and then you'll always know where that item is. And if you do need something else that you don't use on a regular basis, like that lemon or lime press, you could go in the drawer and find it. Another tip might be if you have another drawer that has some space. For example, I have a utensil drawer that holds our, you know, forks and spoons and things like that. On the left side of that drawer, we do have some items that we use sort of infrequently, but I could use that drawer and put these items on the left side and say, you know what? They're always gonna be in that drawer. The thing about this is organization. It all comes down to organization. Where am I going to be able to find the thing I need the quickest way possible? Because when somebody sighted comes in here and opens the drawer, this is what happens. They scan the drawer and they reach down and they grab the one thing they want and they're good to go. When I come in or a visually impaired person comes in, it's a lot of messing about trying to find that one thing. So the next time you're thinking about this and you're like, oh, this drawer is driving me nuts, 
Think about going to the store and buying a little container that can sit right on your counter. And if you don't have counter space, some of you may not, think about another drawer where maybe you could make a divider and set those things on that side. Again, it's all about organization and what works best for you. So these are just a couple of tips to make it a little easier on you in the kitchen. So my question for you today is this, do you have one big utensil like a spoon or a pair of tongs that you use frequently? And if so, do they look like they've been used pretty frequently? I'd love to hear about it and I know others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it out with somebody that you know. And if you're new around here, my name is Derek and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. Here on the channel, we do life advice, product reviews, and even kitchen hacks just like this one. So consider subscribing and turning on those notifications so you don't miss another single video. And finally, remember that sight loss isn't the end. It's just the beginning. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Derek and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.